Fortunes, and tonight's families are Elaine, Nathan, Talitha, Diana, and Gus, the Johnson family. And they're playing Sandy, Jonathan, Leslie, Stuart, and Liz, the Dick family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. Good evening and welcome once again to Family Fortunes. As usual, we've got two great families hoping to go all the way to big money and win £3,000. And if they can match the top five answers in big money, also walk away or drive away in tonight's star prize. Yes, and it's ready to roll and Les is holding the keys to this superb 2 liter GTI family saloon with classic features. OK, what a lovely prize. Now let's meet two lovely families. Playing tonight on Family Fortunes are the Johnson family. Hi, Gus. Good, af good evening, ladies. Good afternoon, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> you don't know how long, how long you've been here, Gus. It's quite a while now. Seems like years. Seems like years. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce us to your family. Yes, yeah, certainly. This is my wife, Diana. Hi, Diana. Hello, Les. Niece, Talitha. Hi, Talitha. Hi, Les. Cousin, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Les. And niece, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Les. Good to see you. Where are you all from? We're from Maidenhead, Berkshire. Maidenhead, Berkshire. Very posh. Nice part of the world, eh? <laughs> so I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> Gus, what, what, what's, it, what's it short for, Diana? What's it? It's short for Augustine, Mojisola, Adonai, Bamboshe, Awashika, Adagoke, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all those names. <laughs> all right, well, that's the Johnson family. Let's go over now and meet the Fifth family. <laughs> Miss, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I suppose, as a family, you're totally aware of the comic possibilities in your name. <laughs> Yes, All right, well, I promise I won't make any, any jokes about it at all. Right. Nice to meet you. Introduce you to the dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Oi! That's a... My husband, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. Hello. My son, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. My son, Hi, Jonathan. Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. My sister, Sandy. Hello, Leslie. Hi, Sandy. You didn't let them get in, then? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Great, and so you do have trouble with the name, do you? Hello. <laughs> More than you can say. Yes. You're head of the family. Yes. So that makes you the boss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And you're actually the shortest of the family, but don't worry, size isn't important. <laughs> <laughs> That's the families. We hope that you're ready to play at home as we play Family Fortunes. Hi, <laughs> Liz. Meet Gus. Hello. Top seven answers. Right, we asked 100 people to name someone who might know more about a man than his wife. Gus. The father. The father. Let's have a look for his dad. <laughs> Relation is the top answer. <laughs> Mother, father, uncle, whatever. So, what do you want to do as a family? Oh, okay. You're going to pass it over? OK, all right, that means that we come over to the Dick family. Stuart, you, were, you met as childhood sweethearts? Yes, Les, we've, uh, we've known one another for oh, some 50 years. In fact, uh, where I first met Elizabeth, I think, was stamping her League of Church loyalty card every Sunday at church. And you were just a little, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> it's them, I promise you, it's them. <laughs> Great, Stuart, what do you think? Uh, his boss. His boss? His boss. <coughs> no, so we lose a life there. Hi, right, Leslie. You prefer Hi, Les. Leslie, I prefer Les. Oh, well, known as Les as well. You're known as Les as well. Yep. Great. And what do you get up to? Well, uh, I work for uh, Brokers in Belfast, and I'm also involved in the Boys Brigade, the local you? company. All oh, right, right, you're in the, the Boys Brigade marching band? That, well, yes, I have been involved <laughs> in the band as well, yeah. yes. What, 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 what instrument do you play? I used to play the bell lyre. The what? <laughs> <laughs> the bell lyre, a clock and spoon. What do you think? His doctor. A doctor? <laughs> Yes, well played. Good answer, Leslie. And that answer has won you a prize as well. Steve will tell us what that prize is. Yes, Leslie, and it's a prize that you can share with your mum and dad. You've won this mini hi-fi with CD. Hi, Jonathan. Yes. What do you get up to? Uh, I'm the manager of a small post office locally where we live and uh, play, play a lot of sports. Always in sports, play rugby for hours at the minute. Yeah? Yeah. And what happened with this woman that came into your post office? In the office? post office, yes, there was uh, a normal day, as, as always, and... I saw a woman walk in and looked quite uh, disturbed, you know, she came up to me and she was in an awful state. And she said to me, you have to help me out. You know, my son's out in the car here and he's looking for a leprechaun licence. And I said, I sort of I thought at first, you know, she's having me on. She said, no, it's the truth, you know, he was at a hypnotist last night and he's come home and since he woke up, he has to, he's, he's going mad about getting his leprechaun licence. <laughs> so she said, if I go out and bring him in, can you do something for me? I said, fair enough, go and get him. So I am thinking away and I thought, bring out an old dog licence for him. <laughs> and, I, and I'll score out the dog and write leprechaun. So I went to write leprechaun and then realised I couldn't spell it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I just write elf and said covered all little people. Elf. <laughs> yeah, elf. And just said covered everything then, you know. <laughs> That's a national elf service. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jonathan, what do you think? Uh, his best mate. His best mate. Let's have a look for his mate. 
Yes, friend, the gentleman number two, well played. Well done. No prize on it, but 13 people said it as well. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Liv. Hi. So what, no, uh, you've got a, an interesting maiden name. Yes, I used to be known in my teenage years as Sandy Shaw. Did you? Yeah. Are you the Sandy Shaw? Not quite, <laughs> <right>, no. <laughs> and if I had gone out and anybody had asked me my name, they would have sort of answered back, oh, yes, I am Cliff Richards or Elvis Presley or anything like that. Yeah. I used to really annoy You changed it to a life. better name then, I didn't did, you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Instead. What do you think? Uh, mistress. Let's have a look for Mistress. <laughs> It's actually there, that's my girlfriend. Two people said it. Liz. Um, pal, that's friend. Pal, that's friend. Yeah. Gonna need an answer from you, though, Liz. Nope. No. No. Nothing. So that means the two lives have gone and the Johnsons might get a chance to steal. Stuart, can you save the game? <laughs> I'll try. Would it be uh, a dentist at all? OK, let's have a look, yeah. So let's see if a dentist would know more about Alan than his wife. <laughs> dentist. No, so three lives have gone. We go over to the Johnsons, Elaine. Hairdresser. Hairdresser. Nathan? Pub landlord. Pub landlord. <laughs> Talitha? Pub landlord. We know what you lot do then. <laughs> Diana? Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Well, that probably, I think, would come under doctor. I oh, think right, we've, okay. we've lumped all that together. Gus? Um, we'll go for the hairdresser. Let's have a look for hairdresser to steal. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> You've got a first 84 pounds in the bank. I thought that would be there. Yeah, all right, let's see. Answer number seven is a barman, which they said down there. Answer number five is a priest. Answer number four is secretary. So let's play on round two. Come on, Stuart, me, Diana. <laughs> Top six answers in this second game. We asked 100 people to name something you might wear, even though at a nudist beach. Diana. A fig leaf. A fig leaf. Yes, answer number five is a fiddly. There are four more popular ones. Stuart, what do you think? A wig. A wig. A wig. <laughs> <laughs> that would help a lot, wouldn't it? Let's have a look for a wig. No, good thinking, but it wasn't there, so you have control of the board. What do you want to do? We'll play. play. You'll play. OK, rejoin your family, Diana. And remember, the Johnsons must not confer, but of course, the Dick family, think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal later on. Hi, Talitha. Hi, Elaine. And tell me a bit about yourself. Well, I'm a nanny. I look after three children. And I like to travel. I've just come back from Australia. Me and Elaine are hoping to go around the world for a year. Great. I um, like TV, and I've got one problem now, because I hate someone on telly. Oh, oh not me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's a no. change. <laughs> Onslow out of keeping up appearances. Onslow out of... You mean Jeff Hughes, who used yeah, to be in Yeah, I just keep dreaming about him. I just, he just makes me cringe, and I hate him. Oh. <laughs> Jeff, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> yeah, that's all right, mate. <laughs> I used to love him as Eddie Yates, remember? <laughs> all right, Talitha, what do you think? Hat. A hat! <laughs> Well, kind of like a sun hat or something, yeah, yeah with a wide brim. We're looking for... <laughs> They're making up their own jokes down here. <laughs> a hat. <laughs> sun hat is there. Yeah. Well played, Talitha. You got a prize as well, Steve. Yes, a chance to get away from the children and be a big kid yourself on this action weekend. Yeah. Hi, Nathan. Hello, Liz. You're going for an Elvis contest, do you? No, uh, no I don't. It looks a bit like it, doesn't it? <laughs> No, I just do it for the kids at home. I've got two little kid children. Yeah. A little girl and a little boy. And you do Elvis for them? Um, now and again, yeah. Give us a bit of your Elvis then. Love me tender, love me true. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, boy. Hold on. That's it. Can we do your Elvis? That was great behind there. <laughs> Stay there. Nathan, what do you think? A uh, beach towel. A beach towel you might wear, or a, um, a nudist might wear, a beach towel. <laughs> no, so we lose a life. Elaine. Tell me about the time you went to Henley Regatta. Well, every year our family go to Henley Regatta on a boat. Right, well, that would make sense. Yeah, on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> generally. <laughs> and we're chugging up the river um, one Henley Regatta, and we're passing the rule box, and as, um, as we are passing the rule box and doing say, I go up the front to see my auntie to have a drink there, and as I go up the side of the boat, I fell in. You fell in? Yeah. <laughs> in front of the royal family? Yeah. <laughs> what did they do? Applauded. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something you might wear, even though it's a nudist beach. Jewellery. Jewellery. Excellent. Thank you, number one. Okay, Gus, got an answer for me? Um, with a cross. That's jewellery as well, isn't it? No, 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 oh. no. Church. All right, church. You want a church? Rosary you want to wear a church? Beads. Rosary, rosary beads. beads. Okay. Rosary <laughs> beads. <laughs> uh, two lives have gone, so the dicks might be able to get a chance to steal. Diana. Hello. Um, I think a pair of sunglasses. Let's have a look for shades. <laughs> Specs is answer number two. Steve. Yes, Diana, and you better bring your sunglasses with you. You and Gus are off to visit the countries of your choice with this European travel voucher valued at £750. Very good. Where are you going to go? Me 
we'll, we'll have to discuss it. Yeah. Take your rosary right. beads, Dustin. <laughs> he doesn't need the sun, though, does he? <laughs> Talitha, what do you think? Suntan lotion. Suntan lotion they might wear. <laughs> Good answer, but not there. So, what do we think? Sandy? Shoes. Shoes. Makeup. Makeup. Shoes. Shoes. A smile. A smile. <laughs> yes, what do you think? We'll go for a smile. OK. Right. <laughs> or it might be a laugh, depending on what you see. <laughs> We're looking forward to steal the money. A smile. Yes. Thank you, number six. Well done. To get the money in the bank. And the missing answer, number three, on something you might wear, even though it's a nudist beach, is... <laughs> Trainers. All right, let's play on. Talitha. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something for which you need a ticket. Talitha. The train. The train. Yes, it's the top answer we want to do. You have to play because you need some points, OK? We join no conferring. Nathan. A plane ticket. A plane ticket. We've got a train now. We're looking for a plane. A uh, plane is answer number five. Well played. Elaine. Uh, bus. A bus. You need a, a bus ticket. <laughs> it's answer number four. You've got a prize. To be a while before you're catching a bus again, you've won this terrific mountain bike. <laughs> right, well played. Gus? Uh, auditorium or theatre ticket? Auditorium, OK, cinema, theatre. Theatre theatre or cinema. Let's have a look for that. Cinema or theatre, <laughs> adventure number three. <laughs> Diana, you're going well. There are no lives lost and there are only two answers to find. What do you think? <laughs> a library ticket. All right, you might library need a ticket, ticket to take your library books back. <laughs> nope, good answer, but it isn't there. Talitha? Lottery ticket. A lottery ticket, OK? Mystic Meg. <laughs> Two lives have gone. So, Nathan, what do you think? Football ticket. A football ticket. Yes. <laughs> well played. Elaine, what do you think? Car parking ticket. A car parking ticket. <laughs> car parking ticket. Well played. <laughs> you get a clean sweep. And you win the money. On that round, anyway. It means there are no answers to reveal, and as we go into the break, the Dick family have £167 in the bank, and the Johnsons have £98. Join us in a couple of minutes, when one of our families will have a chance to pay for £3,000 and the car. We'll see you then. to play for £3,000 and the car. Will it be the Dick family from County Down who have a MIDI hi-fi system and £167 in the bank? Or will it be the Johnsons from Maidenhead who have an action weekend, £750 travel voucher, a mountain bike and £98? Let's see as we play Double Money. <laughs> Go and meet Nathan. All right. Double Money means just that all the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. Top five answers in this first game. We asked 100 people to name a food that is hard to keep on your fork. Jonathan. Peas. 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 Sounds like Blockbusters looking for a pea bob. <laughs> there it is. Number two. Nathan. Need something from it? Salad. Salad. Let's have a look for <laughs> Salad. <laughs> no, so you have control, Jonathan. What do you want to do? Play, play, play. Play. Okay, rejoin. No conferring. So, Sandy, what do you think? Uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Let's have a look for that. Spaghetti. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beans. Baked beans. Let's have a look for that. Baked beans. Beans is answer number four. A, B. Do it. Scrambled egg. Scrambled egg. <coughs> no, so we lose a life. Leslie. Um, sweet corn. Sweet corn. Let's have a look for sweet corn. <coughs> no, so two lives have gone and the Johnsons might steal. Jonathan. <laughs> Mashed potato. Mashed potato. <coughs> no, so the three lives have gone and we come over to the Johnsons. Elaine. <coughs> Rice. Rice. Nathan. Pasta. Pasta, which spaghetti maybe yeah. covered that. Talitha? Noodles. Noodles. Diana? Soup. Soup. <laughs> <laughs> you use a fork, do you, Diana? <laughs> Gus, any ideas? Uh, we'll go for rice. We're looking forward to stay in the game. Rice. <laughs> yeah! yeah. 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 And number five is... Pickled, Pickled onions. onions! Especially the last one in the joint. You never get it out, <laughs> can you? All right, let's play on. Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name something. People wax. Elaine. Legs. You wax your legs. Well, some people do. Top five. So what are you going to do? We're playing. Play rejoin. No conferring. No conferring. Just a uh, car. A car. You wax your car. Is that another two? Well played. Mm. Diana. Uh, 
um, furniture wax when you polish your furniture and yeah. things. Using Johnson's furniture polish. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well played. Khalifa. Bikini line. If it's there, you're going through to big money. <laughs> no, so a life goes. Nathan, go carefully. Coat, barber jacket. Barber jacket. All right, you might wax a coat. <laughs> Two lives are gone, the dicks might get in. Elaine? Silver cutlery. Whatever. Silver cutlery. <laughs> no, so can the dicks get back into the game and go through to big money? Sandy? Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Skis. Skis. Moustache. Moustache, yes. Moustache. <clears throat> Moustache. They're all good answers, Liz. What do you think? We go for skis. All right, if skis is the missing answer number four, then you're playing big money. If not, it's the Johnsons. We're looking for skis. <laughs> it is <isn't> <laughs> You're going back to County Down with a MIDI Hi-Fi and CD and £167. You've been smashing contestants. Have you enjoyed the day? Before you go, we'll reveal that missing answer. Number four on Something People Wax is... Wax the Floor. A lovely family. A good family. Congratulations, Gus. Thank you very much. Who's playing big money? Diana and myself. Diana and Gus, join me at the mic, please. Go and put the headset on and we'll call you back when we're ready for you. Right. Five questions, 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Yes. You need 200 points between the two of you and the top five answers on top of those 200 points to win the car as well. All right? Right. Good luck. Can I have 15 seconds on the clock, please? <phone rings> Name a game which can be played with a white ball. Tennis. Something people do in traffic jams. Beat their horns. A type of ship used by the Royal Navy. Uh, a, a, a submarine. A James Bond movie. Um, never say die. A symbol of love. A uh, kiss. Just in time there, I think. We just got it on that buzzer. We don't know, no. Sounds all right to me. Let's see how we did. Right. First of all, I asked you to name a game which can be played with a white ball. You said? Tennis. Our survey said? 30. Good start. It's not a tough answer, but it's a good answer. Something people do in traffic jams. You said? Be porn. Our survey said? Tough answer. We've got one. 55. There's two of you to get five. A type of ship used by the Royal Navy. You said? Submarine. Our survey said? 20. Oh. Put your arm around me. Go on. <laughs> right. We've got 75. A James Bond movie. You said? Never say die. Our survey said? <laughs> Nothing for that. And a symbol of love. You said? Kiss. Our survey said? <laughs> Nothing for Kiss, but we've got 75, it's not bad. Rejoin the family, we'll clear the board and bring Gus back. Welcome back, Gus. All right, Diana has scored 75 and found one top answer. So four top answers are there and, and quite a lot of uh, points still to get. We need 125. You have to get those 125 and the other four top answers to also, on top of the £3,000, win the car. 20 seconds, it can be done. 20 seconds to answer, and if you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear this sound and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the audience at home of the answers we've had from Diana and can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. Name a game which can be played with a white ball. Tennis. Another. Table tennis. Something people do in traffic jams. Blow their horns. Another. Sing. A type of ship used by the Royal Navy. Frigate. A James Bond movie. The Spy Who Loved Me. A, a symbol of love. A heart. OK. <laughs> right. Don't shake your head yet. We need 125. And we can see where the four top answers we are that we need. Right, a game which can be played with a white ball. You said? Table tennis. Our survey said? 17 people said table tennis. We can't get the car because it stopped flashing us. We see the top answer there was golf and was 39 and would have put you on the way. So don't worry about that. We then moved on to something people do in traffic jams. You said? Sing, our survey said? 14 with 106. We need 94 from our last three answers to win £3,000. A type of ship used by the Royal Navy. You said? A frigate. Our survey said? 32. <laughs> Top answer. We've got 138. We need 62 from our last two answers. A James Bond movie. You said? The spy that loved me or who loved me. Our survey said? Seven, only seven people said the spy who loved me. The top answer there was Goldfinger and was worth 36. 